Hey guys, I'm Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography and I'm based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. And this, this, this right here is the TT Artisan 90 millimeter F1.25. And I've been using it on a Fujifilm GFX 50S. And I affectionately refer to this thing as the super beautiful, utterly impractical, difficult to use, photographic monster that's not for everyone. But man, the images you can create with one. 90 millimeters, F1.25, medium format sensor. Let that sink in. This is not gonna be my standard review. It can't be because this lens doesn't check enough boxes to do what I consider to be a proper review. So therefore, we're gonna depart from the usual format and instead of covering the usual aspects of a review, we're gonna focus more on my experiences using this lens. Let me just tell you right now, this thing is not easy to use, far, far from it, but the lens's output is just breathtaking. Now, whether it's worth putting up with those shortcomings, gotta be honest, that's up to you. All I'm gonna do in this review is simply share my experiences with this lens. So instead of the normal review, I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna give you five things that I absolutely hate and six things that I absolutely love about the TT Artisan 90 millimeter F1.25 lens mounted to a GFX. First, let's start with the bad news. Five things that I hate. Number one, it's a cinder block. This thing is solid, too solid. Yes, it's F1.25, but the casing may as well have been made out of lead. It literally feels like somebody took two lens balls, if you know what those are, and encased them in solid lead. Heavy, really, really heavy. Combine it with the GFX, and my arms are burning 30 seconds into a shoot. It could double as a kettlebell. The bottom line is, unless you're a bodybuilder, a sturdy tripod and this combination is an absolute must. Number two, the focus ring is too tight. It's actually too well dampened. In fact, it's laborious rotating this thing. In addition to that, it has a really long throw from the minimum focus distance to infinity. It's like 180 degrees. Now it's made out of high quality stuff, but the ring is as heavy to move as the lens weighs, if that even makes any sense. It's very precise, but it's just hard to rotate. Well, at least my copy is. Number three, it's literally impossible, unless you're Hercules, to focus manually and get a sharp shot handheld, especially wide open. Given the super shallow depth of field at f1.25 and the tough to maneuver focus ring, getting a sharp shot handheld is a serious, serious challenge. Number four, the lens cap, though sturdy, is too tight on the barrel, and I'm already noticing some scuff marks and wear marks from taking the cap on and off. In my opinion, this should be more refined. On the plus side, the lens cap also doubles as a lens hood, but the mechanism for getting this in place is a screw mount, and it's very, very impractical and not the most precise thing. It's nice, but it's just impractical. Number five, it's a totally manual lens. The max aperture is a razor thin f1.25, but remember, I'm shooting this natively on a medium format GFX 50S, which means the effective depth of field is f.975 equivalent on a full frame camera. That's super, super thin. What this means is you really have to slow it down and focus on what you're doing before you take the shot. If you have an impatient subject or if you are short on time, let's be honest, do not use this lens. Now, it's not all bad news, and as promised, let's get on to the good stuff. It was once said to me that many a sin is forgiven so long as you're making your goal. Well, if your goal is incredibly beautiful, bokeh-filled imagery, then you may very well forgive all the TT Artisan 90mm sins because, in spite of all the warts and shortcomings, there is some good news, because here are six things that I absolutely love about the TT Artisan 90mm f1.25 lens mounted to a Fujifilm GFX 50S. 
Number one, the build quality. It just oozes of quality. I know I said it's a cinder block, but this thing is built like a brick shit house. No, it's not weather sealed. No, the lens cover isn't refined. And sure, the focus ring is hard to move, but the lens is built like something, something you'd get from the 1930s. The materials are just rock solid and anything but lightweight or cheap. Number two, the focus ring. Wait, you just told us that was a bad thing. I know. Though it's really hard to move, it has a very long and precise throw, making fine and accurate focus adjustments possible. This is fantastic for stationary subjects when you're using the lens on a tripod. Now, as I mentioned previously, yes, the ring is stiff and it is hard to move, but you do get used to it. I just wish it moved a little bit more fluidly. Number three, 10 aperture blades. This lens has 10, count them, 10 aperture blades for some very unique bokeh and very unique imagery. It kind of has that swirly bokeh you'd see from an old school manual lens, like maybe the Helios 44 258, if you're, if you're familiar with that lens, then you know what I'm talking about. There's also a videographer on YouTube named Brandon Lee. He's pretty well known. And back in October of 2021, he did a video with the TT Artisan 90 millimeter on a Sony a7S III. And he filmed this guy walking through the streets of Hong Kong. The bokeh in that video was simply dazzling and sublime. The lens is capable of completely blowing out the backgrounds and it does it beautifully. Number four. Stunningly sharp imagery in the frame center, even wide open and even on a GFX. I've been on a vintage lens kick lately and virtually all the old lenses have bad optics. But instead of calling them bad, most photographers and videographers who use them describe them with euphemisms like, the lens has character. And that's how they describe the optical flaws of these lenses. I'm telling you this because I've gotten used to less than stellar results in the frame center out of old school manual lenses. But the TC Artisan surprised me because of its relatively low price point, I was expecting less than stellar optics wide open. The frame center, so long as you nail focus, which again, as mentioned previously, is a challenging thing to do, can reward you with razor sharp images, even at f1.25 and even on a medium format sensor. Number five. Because of the old school and completely manual nature of the lens, the TT Artisan 90mm f1.25 forces you, the photographer, to slow down and be deliberate and create, instead of just praying and praying, and that's because you can't. Not to get all corny or anything, but there's something beautiful about getting in touch with your craft, slowing down and really focusing on the subject, composition, and lighting at hand. We've become so impatient and we always want instant results. It's been refreshing for me to slow down, take my time, and create an image. So in that sense, the TT Artisan 90mm has been kind of a cathartic experience for me. When the opportunity has presented itself, slowing down and getting a shot has been, I don't know, a really cool way for me to reconnect with my craft as a photographer. Number six, lastly is the price. Sure, the lens has a lot of shortcomings, but the results are simply stellar and unique. At under $500 US for the GFX version, for what it is, I think the TT Artisan 90mm f1.25 is a great value. It'll force you to slow down, use a tripod, and focus on your technique. It's an absolutely beautiful lens for outdoor, bokeh-filled portraits. Now, if you're chasing your kids around trying to capture memories, let me tell you right now, buy something else. Otherwise, indulge in the bokeh and consider a TT Artisan 90mm f1.25 for any system, but it's really unique on the large format sensors of the Fujifilm GFX system. So, there you have it. If you can deal with the lens's shortcomings, then you're going to be rewarded with some stellar imagery. But don't say I didn't warn you. By the way, the 90mm f1.25 is available in several mounts, including Hasselblad, Sony FE, Nikon Z, Canon RF, and Panasonic Leica L mount. I think that's it, but the link to purchase is down below in the description. I'm Darren Miles with Darren Miles Photography, and I'm based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give me a like, or better yet, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next time, happy shooting.